Oh. We're looking fresh to death. With um, all this natural light. I still don't have any makeup on. But Where's okay. my burger? Oh. Yeah. I actually got the chicken sandwich. So I still got. Oh, there's ketchup in there for oh, you. Yay. Did I tell you about that? So, some girl on Twitter tried to be real cute. Talking about next time you record, eat before you record. And then check the sound quality of the podcast before you post it. And I said, um, being that we do this in our spare time, <laughs> how about I do what I want? <laughs> actually, she and wants you me realize you're listening say, for she free. Wants me to tell her, I was like, my boyfriend works in recording. Mm -hmm. He works in television. He works with sound. We try to get as much as we can, but we do this in our free time. Exactly. This is if you want a very professional podcast, listen to his podcast. It's <laughs> one of the most professional done. Yes. Like debatable podcast. They'll be It's extremely elite. professional. It's very well done. Ours is as messy as this show is, so that's what you don't get. <laughs> But thank you to all of our wonderful she did listeners. Work TV. This one over here did work. On TV. I did work. In TV. And I said he filmed, but I don't. But know. I did not work in sound. <laughs> and so you are getting me putting it together. But I mean, the last episode was just a little bit different because of the placement of the mics, and we're gonna work on it. And you know, we do work on it. So, and that's another reason that I was like, you need to kick rocks because um, we have had people send us messages and be like, oh, I couldn't hear Momo or I couldn't hear Meg, and then you know we change it up, and they're like, oh, thank that's awesome thanks for making those changes I don't have a problem with that the only time I've ever met this girl is the first time that she tweeted at us all condescending and you know ridiculous and so I'm like no no darling if you can't even send us an ask to our page if you don't even know <laughs> that we have a tumblr <laughs> or anything else then I don't need to deal with you my thing is just uh -huh. like just understand that things happen, especially mm -hmm. with microphones. We had an, actually, last week, we had an issue with the microphone, mm -hmm. if you really need to know. <laughs> there was a major issue, which we are getting fixed this week. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's actually going to come uh, later this yeah. week. Which means the recorder's going to be fine and fixed. So if you have an issue, just let us know, and we will fix that stuff. There are ways, there are methods on the computer to fix stuff. Mm -hmm. We know what GarageBand and some other stuff is. I mean, I know what Final Cut Pro is, but I'm not going to use that on a fucking recording. <laughs> <laughs> I used uh, GarageBand actually to put together a theme song, but when I tell you it was the hackiest thing, I literally had my phone playing the song while I sang one part and then I played it back and sang over. But then GarageBand kept changing the note, changing the tune, well, and I was like, why isn't this you working? Anyway. GarageBand tends to do that anyway. It was a mess. So anyhow, um, this is the messy Q&A show. I'm Sticky Keys, and of course, to my left over here is Miss Momo. Say hi, Momo. Hey. We decided to visit the wonderful land of you natural life. You guys got life. me post rant on Twitter. Ooh, what'd you, oh, was it about that post I sent you? Or was there another one? No, this was about me posting about the 19th Amendment and how people were trying to get on there when I made a particular comment about something else mm -hmm. that had to do with the 19th Amendment. What's the 19th Amendment? It's uh, the women's voting right from the oh, okay. 20s. I was and like, I don't, I don't, like, people use amendments like they do oh. CD songs. They're like, well, they see, do this in number 12. One of the things you like, know, know, growing up in D.C., elementary school, junior high school, and high school, you will learn the amendments. You will learn every single part of judiciary law. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like, I knew what the freak the executive office did, the judiciary office, the legislative office did before, mm -hmm. like, I even entered junior high school. Did y'all learn songs about them? We learned songs. We learned, like, people think people in D.C. are really stupid when it comes to politics. That's one thing I think most mm -hmm. people know. A lot of people think that D.C. people are really dumb when it comes to, like, because, you know, like, supposedly our education isn't that great. So um. they feel like everyone's really stupid. And I'm like, no. Our education's actually pretty decent when it comes to, especially, like, politics. D.C. don't history. know D.C. history, but there's DC, not a whole... And D.C. history is taught. And every, it's a major requirement. You're actually required in D.C. to take U.S. government, D.C. Mm -hmm. government, D.C. history, U.S. history, plus world history, and some other stuff. I actually also had to take world government. As well as learning Maryland Virginia government, too. That was requirements in my high schools. And a lot of people don't get that. Like, So you were arguing about the 19th Amendment? Well, what I said is that 
It did not mean that they said that I said that only certain women had. Oh, as in okay, yeah. gotcha. Like black women couldn't vote. Black women, Native American women, Asian women, and Latino women still Latino women still had issues voting. Mm-hmm. Even though still the do. 20s, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, is that I had several people come on my post and who were just like, you know, this is false, blah blah blah, and I'm just like, eh, I was no. like, work, mama. That's how you stay married. Relationship goals. <laughs> I was not mad. She said, you want to see your Instagram model, I'm right, y'all. All right, this is going to, this is what part of the reason that we're acting so messy. This is going to be a messy Q&A because we have actual, um. If you want to actually delete that whole spill about me, <laughs> you can. I, I was just pissed off and I had to um, it out. We, um. We are actually She's not going... the only white woman I'm pissed off at right now. <laughs> there's another white woman that if I could. Mm-mm. I would go up to Massachusetts right now and whoop her ass. Not like. yet. We'll talk about it later. But, um. Good time. The reason we're so equally messy here is because uh, we have very respectable guests for the show tomorrow. I'm not going to give out the names yet. Because I want to wait. Oh, yeah, I'm not jinxing nothing. I want to wait until it is on tape. But, um, we have fun special guests tomorrow, and we're going to have to keep it classy with the podcast, so we're going to be as messy well, as we I'm always here. classy. You're not. All school and no class. Just like Style Stalinsky. <laughs> Styles is such a I said, we were talking about, someone was like, Derek would have believed Styles. I said, Derek would have believed Styles, and Jennifer was giving him pussy <laughs> on the regular. What is Scott's excuse? And someone was like, oh, is uh, Theo, you know, uh, getting on his knees for Scott? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. That's the wow. only explanation. This show was ridiculous. So we are going to go to our Q&As. Um, I'm just going to start at the most recent one and then work our way down. Ooh, and honestly, barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. Sauce. There's ketchup in there, too. I know you're addicted. I honestly feel like Te- uh, Teen Wolf is just a check for Arden. Like, she cares for the cast, but she's really about her money. I don't think she cares for the cast. <laughs> I think she is all about her money. She had her 30th birthday party, one man of them there. It was a sea of Asians, and now they're trying to be cute. And I think we talked about this. And so pretty soon, someone's going to be like, how come Aaron only hangs out with Asians? And I'm like, every other person on that cast only hangs out with white people, pretty much. You are not going to get art for hanging with her people. Except for Colton, yeah. Colton got a rainbow coalition. My God dang. And Ryan. <laughs> it is his true. sibling, his coat of many colors siblings. I actually, I agree. Ryan Kelly be posting those pictures real quick. Mm-hmm. He'll be the Had all the him. black people in Beacon Hills. I was like, get him out, Ryan! Get him he out! He's the first one to post his family up online. He is proud of it. He and I'm like, loves his fam. And I'm like, you know what? Kelly I'm fam okay goes forward. Mm-hmm. I He's like quick it. to post his, uh, his family of color. <laughs> but I like seeing I like seeing his closeness. Yeah. I was about to make uh I'm making I'm about to make a Josephine Baker reference. I know. But, I was thinking of two, either Josephine or Angie. Like what are the other? But I was like, I can't make a Josephine Baker reference and then not have anyone know it. So yeah. I never well, well, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Also. I think Arden is just kind of biding her time. Evidently, she didn't go to the Teen Choice Awards, but she went to the Teen Choice Awards after party. (laughs) Wait a second, what? I was so here for that. Y'all don't even know. Arden was like, no, I won't be at the main event, but I'll I'll meet up with you later. Let me wear this yellow dress. I mean, the thing is, the after party is probably the thing that you want to go to more because you're going to be able to socialize. Get the swag, get the free food and drink, holla. Well, if any of them actually eat or drink, but still. No, I think she does. When no one's looking. No, I just, I just know how my Asian friends are. Exactly. Very, like, they're not going to eat just anything. Like, she's got the sashimi. Oh, no. No. My Asian friends eat way more than me, and they are just sick for years. My friend was pregnant. No lie, my friend Jay. She was pregnant, and six months she was still skinny. And mm-hmm. school, I was always seeing her eat. She never stopped eating, and I'm like, where did this big ass baby come from? 
she literally had a bump for like the last like two months. Mm -hmm. And then this this damn huge ass cute little baby came out of her, and I was just like, where did you come from? She is a stick figure. That's funny. But Jalen's the cutest thing ever, so I love her. Arms but adorable. My, but my friend Rhea was the same way. Girl was skinny as a daggone toothpick and popped out a baby, and I'm just like, and I've hung out with. Rie several times, so I know this girl's eating habits. She would eat off of you, me, and her, her own plate. Mm -hmm. um, Arden is actually doing a lot more. I think Arden eats out of YouTube, everyone on the show. Yeah, YouTube stuff, and she's been doing a lot more <laughs> um, Dylan music stuff. I think he might. I don't see Dylan as much, but definitely Posey and definitely Sprayberry. Well, Posey and Sprayberry are going to drink, and then they're going to drink a lot of muscle milk. Mm hmm. Dean definitely oh, eats. God. All, all the adults eat. I think all the adults eat. He got eat. the munchies. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so, and ask for the Q&A. Do you feel like Teen Wolf has taken too long to explain the Dread Doctor's motivations? Yes. I feel like we've gone all season and know nothing about them except they're partially human and all-powerful. We yes. know nothing about their motivations or weaknesses. It seems excessively vague. I know they want this to be a 20 episode arc, but we're halfway through season 5 and we still don't have enough information to care about the main villains. This is one thing, <laughs> so I was reading the AV Club or, uh, interview, and it kept saying, um, every week this guy comes in and he says, I don't know why everyone's complaining that it's too, uh, that it's, uh, or that we're not getting answers. This is the second arc. It's not like 3A and 3B where they they look insulated. This is just going to be one whole season. And we're, I'm like, I finally responded to him. I said, I know. And it's an awful way to tell a story. I was like, we are way too much of an ADD generation to get away well, no, with no, 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 giving no. us six months no, between no, 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 answers. No, 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 Every show that has ever had an arc tells you every single Supernatural show. Let's, you know, let's not even talk about every single show. Every supernatural show starting from Twin Peaks oh, gave you clues and told you what the freaking answer was. Or at least gave you enough information so you kind of knew what the hell was happening. You know what Twin Peaks did? Second season, they gave you the answer of who murdered the girl in the second or third episode and they went into the next arc. Every single show gives you clues and tells you, hey, this is the reason I'm watching this show. Teen Wolf has not done this yet. You want to know Buffy? Buffy did multiple arcs in a season. But you know what? I still knew by mid-season who the big bad was, and I could still go that 20 episodes and still be like, okay, I'm ready for, you know, her to do her thing. Supernatural does it. Supernatural will give you multiple arcs, multiple episodes with different villains, and still say, hey, mid-arc, you know who this, <coughs> this villain is, and you will know the majority of what their motivation is. The majority. Teen Wolf has not done this to me. And the thing is, it makes me feel like I'm wasting time. It makes exactly. me feel exactly like I need to watch the first two, three episodes, and then I can skip until next season, and then finish the episode off. And that's exactly what it is. Is okay if you're not going to tell me yes, anything. Yes, we did talk about Twin Peaks. Oh yeah, if you're not gonna say anything about this first half of the season, that means I can wait until the next half and just watch them all at once. Why am I sitting here watching this? boring, long, drawn-out mess, okay. especially when you know most of it's going to be yeah. magically resolved. Exactly. Fucking X-Files. X-Files is one of the most confusing shows. Lost. One of the most confusing ass shows. But you know what you did each season? You knew what the fucking arc was by mid-season. You kind of knew what was kind of going. You still had enough clues to kind of keep you interested. No. Just... <sighs> so, ratings came out. Please say they were under a mill. Um... It says that they're up from last week, but I don't think... They lie. They are. Uh, last week was... I did see them trending, though. Well, what? it trended, but it trended late. It was, like, real, like, almost halfway into the episode. Oh, okay, so their Twitter ratings were up uh, to 1.124, so that is up from last week. But I think their viewing ratings dropped but I still it was like 1.1 1. 1, it looks like oh I saw that as we live and that and I fell live yeah like, who was watching we live oh my god that's funny what's we live John Carpenter movie oh I don't know what that is oh my god yep yeah, it looks like it's 1.1 1. 1. Keith David and so I'm oh, really god, skeptical about me. that I think that they got under a million and they drummed up because 
Uh, Teen Wolf didn't start trending till the middle of the episode, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the episode it dropped, but then after, like, less than an hour, so it's not like the East Coast was catching up, mm -hmm. but after, like, less than an hour, then all of a sudden it started trending. So I'm like, either everyone in California started trending like crazy, or y'all up to some shenanigans, but I said if there was an episode to go under a million, it would have been this one, but, um... It's okay, I'll wait for next week, too. Well, no, next week. It's the finale. It'll it'll probably go up pretty uh, significantly. If it doesn't, then they need to just kiss See, I mean, that's the problem is that I, I still don't understand fully. I understand why S6 was ordered, especially if they've already pre-signed on for S6. you got to give them something to do. But I'm like, there's got to come a point when no one watching becomes an issue, especially for your advertisers. And we can't just have all MTV ads all the time. The Lord knows they tried last night with Miley Cyrus and her tongue. Oh my God. That for an the, entire that hour. That was the most annoying thing ever. That was Miley ridiculous. Miley Cyrus annoys me so much. Like, she just annoys me so much. I used to love me some Miley. And I just, she's Why? just so, she's annoying. She's that, she's trying to act like a college kid who never went to college. You know, and it's like she has this very real, this idea of what she should be acting like at this age mm -hmm. and then trying to rebel against it. And it's like, it makes it so it's not genuine. Um, let's see, let's go back to the question. There's anything genuine about her. Well, she tries. God bless her. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's vague. Um, okay, so what we did learn, evidently, I st we still don't know how Theo hooked up with the Dread Doctors, and we still don't know if there's even a third party that acted as a catalyst, but we know that the Dread Doctor said, hey, Theo, we're coming back to town. We need you to keep Scott McCall out of the way, mm -hmm. and Theo was like, okay, you know, help me with what I need help with, and, you know, we'll work it out. Now, what it implies is that he knew about Hayden and Liam beforehand. I can't tell if he knew about that or if he saw it and then decided to use it and was like, oh, what a coincidence. Uh, the doctors just happened to be working on Hayden and she's connected with Liam, so I don't she know. probably was stalking her diary. That girl ain't got no diary. She don't write. She's too busy working. <laughs> okay, Liam's diary In the then. gay club. Oh, you Liam. know Liam got a diary? <laughs> <laughs> Liam has a dream journal. <laughs> Last night, I had a dream. <laughs> I reached out for daddy and he wasn't there. I said, Daddy, why can't you protect me? He said, no, son. And then I thought about my last year of my last school and how my anger management, like, got me kicked out because I decided to go ham on someone's car. And then I punched a girl in the face. And I broke her nose. And I said, why me, God? Why me? I love her now. <laughs> I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> so... <laughs> Liam would say he thinks he's pregnant. He knows her goddamn well. He can't be. Does he? He's a werewolf. Anything is possible. Um, I find it funny that people actually thought Arden was unknown, like she hasn't made a name for herself. Someone was sending us an ass talking about, uh, do you really think that Arden is more well-known than Holland? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> a million times, yes. <laughs> it is insane how much more known Arden is. Now, she might not be known to a lot of white people. And that's an issue this you're is going to have to deal with. <laughs> people cannot have this thing. A lot of Asian Americans go overseas to become famous, and they still won't have, they won't be known here. One of my favorite pop singers has been around for like 15, 20 years. She's from New York, born and raised in New York. She is famous. Like, she's known by a first name basis. You bring her here and no one will know her. This girl got millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. One of my favorite other singers is, like, actually there was this kid who um, was from Cherry Hill over in uh, in Philly. He went overseas and actually started a singing career, actually does music video. He's actually kind of well-known, pretty well-known over there. He comes back here and he's like, yeah, I just, I just chill here when yeah. I come back. This is a friend of a friend. Hey, Tim. It's just like seven. Yeah. Like, yeah, they... Oh, my God, yeah. I went to um, a Seven concert, and so many people, like, the people who were... It was packed. 
It was sold out because it was actually for the whole area, including New York and stuff like that. And I remember people saying, well, who's playing? Like, they didn't have a clue who he was, and I'm just like, oh, it's a, you know, popular Korean singer, blah, blah, blah. This boy is famous in Asia. Mm-hmm. He is famous. But they would never know. Well, you look at even things like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. They were sent to Europe mm-hmm. before they broke here. Yeah. They have to prove themselves to international markets. The international market is much more open to acts from all over. And a lot of times that is how you prove yourself. But if you, especially as a person of color, you're more likely to succeed. That's how Selena. Mm-hmm. Think about Selena. Selena is famous overseas. Like, yeah, she's known now. But, like, her stature is way big. Mark Anthony. Or Anthony gets so little respect. Oh here. yeah. And this boy, like people act He's like J Lo is the bigger star. And it's so funny because people are like, "Oh, J Lo's the big star." And I'm like, eh, "Actually, she married Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony was the better known, had been better known, and will still be better known." Mm-hmm. Like, you just have to. We go based on our perspective as a Western country, because yes, the U.S. market is the hardest market to break into, but we're also one of those markets that really doesn't like people of color. Therefore, we make it hard for us to break through. We like segregation a lot in American TV and music and media and books and stuff like that. Okay, there is a new promo. God dang it. Oh, no. For the finale, <laughs> and we have to look I don't want to I don't want to watch it. Every, no, everyone is talking. They're like, you guys have got to watch it. They say, you don't even need to do a podcast. Just do the promo. All right, here we go. Is this a new one? Yeah. Turn it off. Was that Kira? Was she back? I can't hear anything. Hold on. What is it? The piano on your thing? It's still on. No speaking. No speaking. Okay, so he said he came for. Wait, wait, we're gonna listen to you. He said so. the beta with anger issues. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's how I describe Liam. Every time I was like, he has anger issues. He has anger issues. <laughs> Every single time is how I describe him. Oh my god. God dang it, they're gonna have me reblog something from Team Wolf. I know it's gonna be so disappointing, so I don't wanna get so excited. Cause you know, Team Wolf finale is like they look so, great. In other words, gonna be a he came for all the effed up people. Yeah. And the people that have evil sides. He's types. Peter. He's Peter Jr. He's the young Peter. Oh my god. That's the reason I probably like him so much. Mm-hmm. He came for Void Styles. Okay, Dark Styles still rules. I love it. He came for the Kasune, which could be evil or good, so he chose to make her bad, which is probably explains why she was fucked up, why she got fucked up by the Doom of Doctors. He's t- is he trying to say that Banshee is evil? I uh, know, but you know, it's a useful tool. Since they don't have really have emissaries in this world that be kind of the human element. Mm-hmm. But how does, I wonder and, how he feels he's going to resurrect Void then- Styles. I mean, he's already starting to. And, or, oh, here's sex. the thing. Like, <laughs> how did he know about Void Styles? Thank you. And does that mean Void Styles is always around? No, don't even. No, can't but do it. But on top of that, can I just can't say? Can't do it. He, said he came for the wear coyote. I'm like, because you want her as your mate. I know. Ugh, don't say mate. No. Yeah. He wants her as the path be. <laughs> <laughs> but no, what's the thing is that also means that she's probably evil. And I'm like, because she's a mimic. And I keep telling she, you. Exactly. She and she will fall in line. And the thing is, she doesn't mimic him. Yes. Which means that she's just a little shifty anyway. Mm-hmm. Yay. I like that. I love I that, like that my one. comment is at the top. <laughs> I'm like, y'all know this is going to be a bummer. <laughs> of the official Teen Wolf blog. Lord. All right, let's get back to it. Um, now I'm they're mad because he's there for everyone but Scott. Void Styles is included in that. Theo can stay if I get Void Styles back. I'm willing to make this compromise. I was been there. I, I was there a long time ago. Mm-hmm. I told you, I had been saying since day one, Void Styles had not gone away. No, I'm not even going to do that. I'm not going to do it because I know it's going to suck. 
they're gonna find a way to ruin it and it's gonna be either boring or ridiculous. I would rather be pleasantly surprised than uh, ridiculously devastated, which they will freaking do. There's what honestly no need. Stacey, you always gotta ruin my dream. I know. I, no, no, when it comes to dark styles, all the other dreams, I will dream the impossible dream. But when it comes to uh, dark styles, I can't. My heart has been broken. Oh, God. It has been broken. It too well, my life. And I cannot get it back. Cause I, that was my uh, theme song for styles. Because I'm lonely. <laughs> broken. broken hearted. Last night over. Except it is for him. I can't again. And Donovan, I'm lonely. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? You just gonna take a trip? Oh, you grab me a phone. Uh, let's see. There's no need to podcast for this episode. Just do one for uh, Theo and this new team will promo for the finale. Theo wants to, a pack of uh, villains. I would prefer if it was him, Kira, Liam, and Styles, Scott, Keeks, Malia, Lydia, Mason, and Brett. <laughs> now, see, this is what makes me so mad about Team Wolf. Because if they were smart and if they were good, mm -hmm. what they would do is break Styles and Scott up and keep them broken up. Yeah. Styles is like, oh, don't you hurt my friend. Da, 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 da. But he's like, you know what? As long as you don't hurt Scott. I'll come with you. And he's like, well, I need to kill Scott so I can get his alpha power. He's like, no, I'll help you get power. I know how to get you power. And I know how Scott got his power. Exactly. And so, yeah, then we get that reveal. And then we have two separate packs. One that's, like, just helping on ruling and being the alpha supreme pack. And then one that's actually concerned with doing right. And we see Scott actually having to deal with competition and actual So, I mean, he already had another damn pack in the damn area. And we never saw And he has never reached out to them. And I'm just like, dude. So ridiculous. I wanted to see what you, how you can learn from the other pack. But, yes, I'm here for Theo taking Styles. Kira, because I think he would actually do better with Kira than Scott would. Mm -hmm. um, and there'd be just enough resentment for Kira to be like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> let's now, I think he would. I would be totally down for him. Uh, Scott can kind of keep Liam, but Liam's on the, the fence right now, because Liam is so, like... One thing, well, he's, yeah, his daddy has not been doing his job. And, but, and I'm um, like, I'm kind of I'm kind of cool with Liam kind of flipping the boat, just because of what has happened. I actually kind of, I would rather have Liam have Lydia, because I think he actually would be the one to be like, so, you're a banshee, right? Let's find out what this is. And so the guy who's like, eh, I don't know. Well, that's my problem, is that if we are going to be working with the conceit that Liam is going to try and kill Styles or kill Scott, mm -hmm. because he knows he'll become the alpha and he can bite Hayden, mm -hmm. Then how did Liam get that information? <laughs> you know, unless Theo was like, hey, you know what you can do? You know, right? Let me tell you. We all know how. Mm. Theo's the only one who's talked to everyone in this pack. Girl. Outside of Mason. We're going to talk about that Outside so of Mason. much tomorrow. And you know what? Fuck that. I want Mason on Theo's team, too. He needs to be the MC. <laughs> They, Mason was trying to help Scott out. He was like, oh, Corey, I know the last time you saw him, things were a little bit shaky. He wasn't having such a good day, but he's a good person now, at heart. That, and Corey is like, mm. Mason is the one that got all of them out of those damn fever dreams. And what does Scott do? Not thank him. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Why are you here? What are you doing here, Scott? Because evidently it's nothing. <laughs> That's why I said, I'm like, honestly... If Scott could just have a lone wolf moment and he could become an Omega Alpha or whatever they want to make him, I would be here for that. So I really feel like this pack would actually do better with without him right Girl. now, which is really sad to say. Mrs. Simon <laughs> Lewis ninety one says, uh, "Did you see the new promo clip of Theo talking to Styles? He wants boy Styles." I do this because it's on all caps. But and again, it's fabulous. how does but he know like, about boy Styles unless he was in the hospital? He wants that PSC. Thank God, no redemption arc for Theo. I just need Dark Steel next season. I'll stay for Dark Steel. A lot of people will stay for Dark Steel, myself included. Our next uh, Steel trash a is going to be epic. If we though. got Dark Steel. Yeah, yeah. I actually would be more of a Styles fan. I'm already a fan of Dark Styles. Like, everyone knows, that was my baby. I love Dark Styles. If we could have Dark Styles put Theo in the same room, I would be here for all of this. I would 
be here for all of that. Oh my god, I would be a South fan. Can you imagine that? Thea would definitely be a bottom. That's the thing about it, is that <laughs> he's Are talking, yes, he because he, you saw him with the doctors, and all the doctor had to do was be like, you remember who I am, you know, and so in Dark Styles was crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Dark Styles was like, oh, aren't you, aren't you, oh, you think I need a drill? Here, let me check, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, yeah, Dark Styles. That's right. That's so no, yeah, Thea would have been like, yeah, Dark Styles, ooh. That nigga Sine was a whole different level. <laughs> that nigga Sine was a totally different level that Theo was not ready for. He was but not. He would not be ready. If Theo was there doing that arc, Theo would be like, I'm right here behind you, babe. That would have been so Hercules, much fun. Hercules. That would have been so much fun. God, you know what? That's how they should have set Theo up so he didn't randomly pop up. <sighs> he should have been in the background doing that scene. That would have been so funny if all of a sudden Theo was like... <laughs> <laughs> was like, and then we would have been like, "Who's this guy who keeps popping up?" That's actually how a smart show is actually. Where are Theo's parents? Dad. <laughs> That's why I said. Um, in the latest installment of Steel Trash, I was talking to Ethan, and I was like, "You know, the funny thing is Where that is well, Ethan? he's hanging out, just working." Yeah. But I said, uh, "I love him." But I said, "You I know," him. I said, "The funniest thing about this is that." Um, you know, the parents are just in their room shivering while all this stuff happens in the background. And they're like, don't be quiet. If we're quiet, you won't come in here. You know, and then Theo was like, thank you for staying quiet. You don't have to kill each other tonight. For my amusement. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Styles, now I don't know what this is regarding, so, but Anonymous says, Styles has been showing violent tendencies all season? Not really. But okay. Uh, well, I mean, I would say more as he's he's always kind of me. He's since, been showing a darkness. But he's not been like showing violence. a darkness, and he's been showing more of a kind of hit the words he's used has been more of a violent aspect. But he also had that kind of talking aspect last season too, which is the reason why I always doubt that he was been better, quote unquote. Girl. Now, the only person who oh, was violent, violent, yeah, he did kill Donovan. He did know. not kill Donovan. He slipped. <laughs> oh my god, love it. And then the he only, had another body, so let's be honest. The only person he's last shout at and hurt him and hurt is himself. So, no, that doesn't actually correlate into uh, caving someone's skull in for kicks, which is basically what Scott believes because. Uh, Anyway, that story spun. Styles was defending himself and his dad, even if he got carried away. So yes, Scott was being a bad friend. A good friend would ask for the story for clarification. Would want to hear it from their friend instead of a stranger. Hopefully, we get a chance to talk Hi. about this more tomorrow. Yeah. The problem is I'll say that it for tomorrow. Scott. The, the main issue is that Scott has always thought that. Uh, that Styles killed Donovan. Mm -hmm. I think he's always thought it. Mm -hmm. And I think that he actually thinks it's <laughs> part of Dark Styles. And I think mm -hmm. that he believes that Dark Styles never left. Uh, there was a lot of confirmation of that last night, during, especially fine. during their scene. I mean, but, that would have been my first thought too. I'm going to keep it But it doesn't you know? mean that they're good friends. <laughs> you yeah. know? The thing is that. Five days. I We're going to talk that. about that tomorrow. That's ridiculous. That was the that was the reigning indictment of Scott. You need to resign. I need him to resign as Alpha. <laughs> he let five days pass. He said, oh, well, Hayden and uh, Corey seem to be getting stronger. They don't need our help. How are they getting stronger? <laughs> they need everything. Sit down and talk to each other. We smoking out their stuff. That's what happened. He ran out. And he was like, my dealer comes back in five days. Did you hear the way he said it? He was like, yeah, I take a hit off of my thing. I was like, what are you trying to tell me, Scott? Scott's a naughty girl with a, a bad habit. Bad habit for drugs, drugs, drugs. Anonymous <laughs> Uh, so I went on the AV Club site, and one comment says, Styles took <laughs> Scott for granted. Like, wow, we're so not watching the same show. It's insane. 
how much we're not watching the same show. Um, this girl from, uh, was it Screen Rant? No, from TV.com did a whole thing about Teen Wolf has a problem with women. And there were all these posts talking about, I like Malia now, and Malia's a great character, and she's a great example of woman. And I said, Malia's an awful character, and continues to be so. Now, if you've resigned yourself to liking her so that you can continue to enjoy this show, that's fine. But you just need that to convince yourself. Don't try to convince well, me. None of the women have been written very well. You have Kara. Kara has the most engaging, interesting story. Her thing like should her just Like, her and Lydia explode. really do. They do have the most intriguing story, and neither one of them, you really don't know anything about either. Scott, uh, Styles was like, you know, shouldn't you be, be able to find the bodies? Isn't that, that's what being a banshee is? And I'm like, you have no idea. And the thing is, that's really funny, is that that's how they told us the first, what, two, not, not season one, but like, once she actually started becoming a banshee, mm -hmm. she was the one who found the bodies. She was the one that was kind of looking But see, it's a little bit different because she would be able to find... So, like, if Josh had stayed on mm -hmm. the thing... And then, also, we don't know if the chimeras are different because they're supernatural. If she can only yeah. find him. We don't know those things. But usually, like, if Josh had stayed on the roof, she probably would have been able to find that. But with Parrish taking them, that changes the variables. But no one thinks And then the thing is that then they're trying to put her and Parrish together. And we still don't even know Parrish's real motive. Even though he seemed like he confused, too, so... His confusion is our confusion. Parrish. He said, I shouldn't even be hanging around you. And I'm like, finally. And he's like, I'm going to hang around you. <laughs> Mess. And I'm just like, baby boy, you took, you took a step back. You're just a baby boy. He said, <laughs> I can't, Sheriff. And then he turned around. He said, I can't. <laughs> and I said, neither can I, boo. Neither can I. That was one thing. So Malia was talking about. I'm not like Scott. I can't take another dead body. I can't take another failure. And I'm like, and yet you're still wearing those shorts. <laughs> and your hair still looks like that. That's just me. That's <laughs> just the truth. <laughs> I was like, this girl has been out in the woods for a hundred years. <laughs> and she can't take a body. You can't take a corpse. <laughs> you were in that damn hospital. Thank you. Were you. Suicide every single Monday. Because they call it a suicide Monday. And you can't handle a damn body or <laughs> a failure. <laughs> she watched that girl bite her fingernail clear out of the bed. <laughs> and then was just like. But I think it's so, <laughs> she was fascinated at first. Yeah, she was like, hmm, that's a good look. And then she was like, oh, wait, no, that's not good. She's like, oh, wait, I'm not supposed to show my interest or my um, turn on this. So Someone this. did mention when Styles showed his scar, they were like, wait a minute, Malia doesn't know about the scar. Otherwise, she would have hassled him about Liam. She's like, that means they're not sleeping together. And then someone was like, well, where is she sleeping? I was like, her house <laughs> with her daddy. <laughs> She's got another home. <laughs> probably in her car. She's probably sleeping in the Toyota <laughs> in the Stolinski driveway. <laughs> we got time for all that. Commuting <laughs> gas prices. <laughs> Next thing they're gonna say, go to your room. She's gonna be like, okay, and gets up and walks into a different room. <laughs> and we're like, what the fuck? Okay, okay, get to Ryan's cup. Love it, Ryan. I don't know what would be worse if they're at the Stolinski house and they're downstairs in the living room, and Sheriff says, both of you go to your room. If Malia goes upstairs to Styles' room, then Sheriff is like, whoa. <laughs> wait, a, wait a minute. Or if she goes out the door. <laughs> and he's like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I think they should film both. <laughs> it could be a choose your own adventure scene. They're like, A, if Malia goes home. B, if Malia goes upstairs to Styles' room. C, if she goes up to the attic and jumps off the roof. <laughs> With no couches, no couches in that basement. You know what? Okay. Ryan, Ryan with cupcake. Ryan, save us. <laughs> save us from all this. Watching Liam and Hayden makes me realize that these kids don't go on dates. Yes. They get thrown into messed up situations and then smush their faces together. Yes. How none of these kids are pregnant, are not pregnant, I don't understand. Because I'm just like... They got super sperm going around. 
No, that's that's a bad thing. No, that's why I said that's the. Re- I'm shocked. Oh yeah, that exactly. Um, I would also say I'm really I really don't care about Layden. Like I think I said this on my on the Twitter. I really don't care about Layden at all. Like Layden could disappear tomorrow, and I would be like, oh yeah, that thing that happened. I just don't. <laughs> I don't, care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about. I don't mind Hayden. I kind of nothing her. Um, I understand I like her why Mama she's Leah. clinging. Yes. Oh, definitely. I understand why she's clinging to Liam, and she mm-hmm. does have enough agency to be like, "Look, you don't have to hang around me all the time." He's like, "But I want to." She's like, "Okay." You know. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. I thought that was cute. But um, the constant kissing and the. Throws of love and passion. Yeah, I'm just like, you have so much going on. This shouldn't be a part of it. Like, but don't you guys get schoolwork to do? Girl, that's, that's what they showed Styles during the monologue at the beginning. Mm-hmm. They showed everyone else in school and Styles was in his room. And I'm like... <laughs> is he not in school anymore? My boy is all school and no class. <laughs> he's homeschool now because he's better. He's self-taught. So, uh, my strawberry bubble wait, gum. Wait, 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 wait. Here's uh-huh. the thing. He also had a chance to graduate early. So he took the chance to only take that one class and stay the rest of it at home. But Lydia's like, you know what? And the one class was gym. Yeah. <laughs> and Lydia's like, no, I want to stay in school. And we're like, Lydia, no. You go go off to college, baby girl. We'll, we'll work this out for you to graduate. Also, Theo and Styles have another class together. And I'm like, where is Mel- why couldn't this be done in the AP bio class? Where is Melanie Marcus? Because I need Melanie Marcus to be like, where is Kira? <laughs> where is Lydia? <laughs> Theo, why are you and St- uh, Scott dry humping on my floor? <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Because you saw that marriage proposal where he was like, for better or worse. And he was like, it's about to get a whole lot worse. And I'm like, well, here's the thing. So this is what happened. They couldn't afford her anymore. And, then on the and no, they were like, she was like, oh, so I get to be the Desert Wolf, right? And they were like, oh, no, we got someone else. And she said, kick rocks. And on top of that, need you. she would get mad. How and dare her character would get mad because Marcus. she's like, Scott, I told you. I put that paper on your desk. I put that paper on your desk. Not on Kira's, not on Lydia's desk, your desk. <laughs> That I then backtracked and told you, why are you getting out of this class? Why are you trying to leave? I guess he really did hand in that paper. He was like, <laughs> hold on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so wrong for that. Somewhere Liam what was practicing that? Scott's fitness signature. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, who do you think will be the next true alpha, mm. Liam or Theo? Liam needs to save his girl and Scott won't do it. So I could see him in the finale trying to take Scott's powers. Uh, oh, or I could see Theo promising Liam that if he helps him take down Scott and Theo becomes the alpha, he'll save Hayden for Liam. I mean, Theo has saved Liam Hayden twice more. Liam could switch sides and go with Theo. The problem is that Liam knows that in order to adhere the alpha powers, you have to kill mm-hmm. the alpha. So if Leo gets those powers, you know, I mean... Theo's gonna kill him. There's just not. Or Theo could go through the route of becoming a true alpha, which he can't. Which he because... almost did, opening that grate. Yeah. But I'm not still not entirely sure that Theo is a regular werewolf. That I think that he is still engineered because he he did the full shift, and evidently that's supposed to be a secret, beautiful thing that doesn't happen with everybody. And um, his eyes, evidently he has the ability to control his eye color. <laughs> Although, he might just not feel guilt, but I don't I was gonna know. Say, I think he just doesn't feel guilt. We'll see. We saw his stone face when he was crying in the tears, and then he was like... That was beautiful. And he was like, hug me! He had them tears, big old crocodile tears. The sheriff was like, let me put your head in my bosom, baby. And he's like, okay. He said... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is Greg on? Greg is going to be here soon. Okay, good. We'll just yeah, keep going until he comes yeah. and then. Because we got a ton of questions. But. Why do we have so many questions? Um. Uh. Do do do. Ha! 
Ugh, I can't multi-ship. I try and my life would be so much easier. But if you get Dark Steel, can Derek come back to Save Style so I can have Eternal Steric? I'll watch the, uh, the show again for that. Yes, my darling, you can have whatever you like. Can <laughs> whatever you like. I'm here for it. <laughs> um, jazz, another sax symbol. Hayden in Liam's romance is sickening. I know it's nose to Leah, but like, why? <laughs> why do you always read her comments? Because I love it. Because I think she's British or something. Why is it that The Wizards of Waverly Place, a show written for preteens, gives a better love story for Justin and Juliet than anything sure. Jeff has done in his entire f five seasons of True Toyota? <laughs> you know what's really Because Wizards of Waverly Place got that Disney money. <laughs> Jeff is scraping the bottom Plus, of the barrel for Wizards all the Plus, Wizards of Waverly teens. Place was before Disney decided they needed to be very generic, generic on every single show. Exactly. So it still was a little unique, and then it was just like, okay... Oh, you guys turn this way? <laughs> We're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, so MGM had congratulated Dylan on his Teen Choice Award. And we were trying to figure out why. And it turns out that Teen Wolf's uh, DVD releases are done through MGM. I thought it was through Fox. But actually, it makes sense that it's MGM and not Fox. Thank you, Nani. I get why Theo liked to Scott, but why did he lie to Sheriff? And uh, told an entirely different story. Cody Christian's acting was everything in that scene, though. It well, he really has to was. tell two different stories because the thing is, is that by giving two different stories means that Styles can't say one story is over the other. Like, like if you give one consistent story and say this, they'll be able to. Sheriff might be searching for something and then stumble upon something that's planted, of course, as we saw by Theo, and still suspect Styles. Where. You have Scott getting a totally different story from Theo, who's, again, the same stores. But with him changing up details, that means even if Scott decided he wanted to search around stuff, he's not going to hit the same story as, as the sheriff, which means that they won't be able to be like, you know, they won't be like, hey, wait, you got the same story too? Oh, I got this story. Giving them two, it puts them on two different paths mm -hmm. of misleading. That's what you do when you have a white light. Have you not watched Big Brother? You always know. <laughs> Big Brother Survivor teaches you this. You want to give everyone a different story so that way they all be hearing hearsay from other people. And when you want to And they focus think everyone on, else is lying to exactly. them. Exactly. And the thing is that it's both going... Either way, it's going to be able to discredit Styles. But the thing is, is that they don't have as much proof to prove the Styles didn't do it. But there's also... Because it's shifty as hell. There's also not enough... Um, communication between mm -hmm. Scott and Sheriff. So Sheriff will go to Styles and be like, look, you know, um, I know about Donovan. And Styles is going to be like, what do you mean you know about Donovan? Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, Theo, you know, said that he did this and blah, 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 blah. So Styles comes forward and says, no, that was me. That was my story. And I want to tell you blah, blah, blah. At the, even at the very least, even if uh, Sheriff believes Styles, mm -hmm. he's like, this kid took a bullet for my son. Mm -hmm. This kid lied to save my son. I'm going to trust this kid. And the thing is, what happened, and Sheriff could go to Sky, and what would happen is, and the thing is with Sky is that he's already kind of unsure about a whole bunch of things, including the way Styles has been before. Mm -hmm. But if Sheriff came to Sky, Sky will then say, well, I have the evidence that, mm -hmm. think about this, he has the evidence that, that puts Styles there. And then on top of that, Scott could, in turn, change his story. Right. Which means the sheriff now thinks Scott's lying, too. Mm hmm So that's the thing. That's why I say it. it's all about misleading that little white lie. That little flick of a lie. Because the bad right fic of misunderstanding that was written <laughs> last <laughs> night was ridiculous. Because the thing is, is that if, if they had actually just... That's why I say if they just talked to their pack, and if they talked to the parents who know what the hell's up... They would not have this issue. This is my problem with them not knowing where the nematon is. And I still don't fully understand this. Argent, Sheriff, Melissa, and Styles were all at that nematon. And wasn't Isaac there too? I don't rem I don't there was think there was a so. there was another person there. It wasn't just Styles that saved. I thought there was another person who was there too. Styles came in with the bat. I feel like there was another person, but I think it was just the three parents. 
And then Silas I came in. Or it was Isaac's ass. I feel like Isaac might have been there. Maybe I, came and failed we need to or look, something. We need to look and see. He was, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. But either the way. The reason I'm thinking that is because, remember, everyone lost their power doing that. All the werewolves lost their power doing Oh, because the it was six. the eclipse. Mm-hmm. Um, Unless it was Derek. Was it Derek? No, no, Derek wasn't there. Then it definitely had to be Isaac. I think it was Isaac. I really do. But That's why I'm like, I know my Isaac... <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But all of them have been to the Nematon. At that point, you make a map. Because <laughs> especially you had to die mm-hmm. in order to figure out where this thing was so that you all had memories and knew where it was, which was still stupid. And so I'm like, at the very least, okay, I know you're not talking to Sheriff. Ask Scott's mom. Ask uh, Argent. Call him. You called him the other... Or talking about, I don't know, I can't make a call to France. It's too expensive. But Argent still came. Mm-hmm. A mess. Um, nothing makes me angrier than the fact that Sheriff arrested Kira without probable cause or any jurisdiction to do so. While Theo openly admits to murder to his face and he embraces him and tells him that it's going to be okay. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, whose idea was that? That was absolutely ridiculous. The only benefit of doubt that I can give a sheriff is that they had a body for Kira, but he still didn't need to treat her that way. They mm-hmm. treated her like she... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. <laughs> we all know why she got the treatment and why Theo didn't. Hashtag We're just going to put that in there. Racism. <laughs> <laughs> TV racism. Girl. <laughs> Ryan with Cupcake again, where are Theo's fake parents? What was the point of that scene? Who even knows? You know what's funny is that I actually wonder, I bet you that was actually Theo's real parents. And maybe the dad was like, it's a new me. I'm going to start writing with my left hand. And, da, 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 da. and Theo was like, I told you to practice your signature with the same knife. You break that hand. And he was like, okay. Because Theo's parents got to be crazy. His regular parents. So I think that they were... Or they're just dead. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Or his regular parents. Um, What was up with Theo counting on it getting worse? Who says that? Did did he think that uh, Scott would pick up on the maniacal laughter? Um, This is normal laughter, people. I do that laugh all the time. I would have died. Y'all don't even know. There are so many things that will make me an ultimate Teen Wolf stan. If Theo had been like, I'm counting on it. (laughs) And then they cut to credits. I would have been the number one team. I would ship Scalia openly. I, I would have been like, everything about this show is perfect. That totally good. reminded me Y'all of Mr. Burns. missing chances. That totally reminded me of Mr. Burns. Perfect. Uh, what's the... Uh, yeah, no, you, you got Smithers? Perfect. Who, 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 what's his catchphrase? Excellent. 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 There's so many different characters that you totally just threw out there with that whole maniacal laugh. So were you but saying I, boo or boo earns? <laughs> what's that I'm boo? Just saying, I was saying boo I was just saying that every single, like, person talks like that. I laugh like that. My laugh is totally equal. I know. Maniacal laugh. We were watching... Maniacal laugh. So we were watching Family Feud, me and Greg, and one of the questions was, what's something that you do not want your wife ever holding her hand or, like, you know, if she's mad, and Greg's hurting me, he's like, a knife. And I'm just like, I love you. He's like, you want to live in my skin. I was like, yeah, but that's because I love. Greg got a cute little uh, jab in um, one of the Wire podcasts. Mm-hmm. He said something about, like, serial killers, and he was like, yeah, I probably has Hello Kitty in the room. And I said, like, ooh, I'm telling Momo, I'm telling. Telling and I'm telling. He knows my serial killer instincts. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Thank you, Ryan with Cupcake. Why isn't there a school assembly with grief counselors or a massive FBI investigation into the spike in teenagers disappearing? It's like the entire school realizes that their only uh, purpose is to be chewed out and spit out by the villains. They've had mass murders on the show and nothing happened. They've had the FBI in the freaking school before it in town and nothing happened. He said, when I come back, we're going to talk about it. (laughs) (laughs) He said, he 
peace out. Peace in the Middle East. Um, no, what upset me was Scott was like, people aren't even laughing and joking in the hallways. It's like everyone knows. I said, y'all had eight, eight bodies. <laughs> like 11 holes in your lacrosse field. Like people are missing. They are missing. Pe these kids are scared out of their minds. I keep saying this over and over again. Why haven't people moved from this town? It's Ooh. the same when I watched the one That's two what... episodes of Scream. I was like, why haven't people moved from this town? We're you gonna... know this shit is happening. Why would you stay there? I would leave. My mom would be like, you know what? You're going to go live with your aunt and uncle over in a different city. And I would have been like, I'm okay with that because at least I live. We're going, I right? See, I wouldn't see you guys in like five years. That's like, what um, people. some people were bagging on Liam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking about, oh my god, he was going to leave with Hayden? What was he thinking? I said he was thinking smart. Exactly. He said he had his bag with protein bars and bottles of water. That was the now, smartest the, thing that he did. The dumbest thing that she mm -hmm. did was only taking her money. Because I would have been like, screw y'all, y'all can figure it out. I got to go. And Let if me you guys know bus. where the hell the hell vault is, you have a whole bunch of money left over there anyway. I mean, Derek's the house probably bonds. has Derek's house probably has some damn uh, I'm money standing somewhere. on it. You know Styles stole that money. That's the only way he got his zombie jeep to work. Dude, I love the fact that everyone agrees that one thing is that Styles stole, stole the money. Stole that money. We know it. We all know it. Dan's dreams, lovely. Dan! Scott is so stupid for not questioning why a wrench allegedly used to cave someone's head in mm. until they died would only have about 2.5 sprinkles of blood on it. I hope y'all address this. <laughs> I don't even think that was blood. I think that was rust. And I think I the implication is too. that um, Theo wiped it off. Well, I was going to say also that Scott doesn't know the difference between blood and, and rust. But wouldn't his nose be like... Wouldn't his nose, A, pick it up? Smells like, this smells like styles and some type of other pheromone. Yeah, ooh, chemo signals. <laughs> so, here's the thing about it. Styles did do dirty. Now, this was, this was the part where I laughed. Because... Scott pulled out the uh, the wrench. Can we just say, can we throw back to that flashback of him turning around and hitting Donovan that came up? I was so good. I was like, I'm totally here for that. I was here for it too. And that still could have been it, and it still would have been fine. Yeah. But, uh, St uh, Scott pulled out the wrench, and then Styles is like, Where'd you get that from? <laughs> <laughs> you almost went into your supernatural team voice. I know! <laughs> It would, it would have been one thing if he was like, oh, you found my wrench. I've been looking all over for that. I've been trying to clean up my car. <laughs> Look, baby, we got our wrench back. Can I just say that if <laughs> Sheriff does ever come into saying, hey, we found Donovan's body and or we have some evidence to put Styles in jail, there's been like three other people's hands on this wrench. Yeah. Everyone's fingerprints have been all over this, this wrench. He's got to even wear a glove. Like, at least wrap it up or something. But that's one thing I really want to talk about, and I think we'll talk about more tomorrow. But they don't Why want to was high? Styles so concerned about them finding the body? Because all you say is that Parrish took it. Well, not only Can they that, tell how they died? They probably would say, well, this is how he died. How did this happen? But the thing is, is that... And you just if, say, I don't know. If Styles either told the truth, which is... I was running up some damn things, and it fell because everyone knows this thing is being is being fixed in the middle of the damn school. Right, all unsafe. It would be accidental. It would literally be. But accidental Sal, I mean, Sal didn't even need to put himself there. And be like, oh, but, it looks like he got a rod through the chest. That's crazy. The thing is, is that they, they explode no, the body. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. If they explode the body, they will see that he took other hits to the face or something. Which means that it would show that Styles was in some type of battle with him. Not really, because it's still there's no way to link it to Styles because. The doctors are mangling these corpses. That's true. The doctors are snapping necks <laughs> and going through chest and slicing them up. So, I mean, there's really no way to connect it to Styles at all. Because he was like, yeah, they'll also find Josh. And I was like, and? Who? What? And I'm like, who cares? <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? Why is this a concern? So, yes, yes, we address it. And we put return to sender. Love you. Um, Lord have mercy. Not even dealing with that. I do like this. It says I'm over here cackling, sticky. 
Scott stands were getting pissy about people shipping Theo with Styles instead of Scott because they claimed Theo was only there for Scott and was obsessed with Scott and wanted Scott. But now we find out that in reality, uh, Theo never cared about Scott beyond wanting him to disappear. It's like karma's getting them for being petty and childish. That's how you know something is going on with the way that Scott is being portrayed. Mm -hmm. I put on Twitter, I said, I feel like Posey is stuck in a dead-end job, that he's way too fragile to try and get a new one. And even though this one is treating him like crap, it gives him a sense of stability. And I'm just like, for them to give him this position with no raise, they demand all this extra work, all this extra promo from him. But then they write his character in this way is really disconcerting. And um, and already the Scott stands are like, wait a minute, what, what do you mean by that? You know, blah, blah, blah. You need to explain yourself and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I understand that he's your fave, but if you don't acknowledge the flaws in him, you're going to start stomping on other ground that shouldn't be stomped on. <laughs> Such as trying to ship him with Theo so that he'll be more popular. You know? Whew. We talk about this on Q&As. Um... Do, 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 do. Okay, it makes me really annoyed that Scott would just blindly trust Theo, who he's known for a few weeks tops, except for when they were kids, and accept his version of what happened as the truth instead of going to Styles, his best friend, and asking him what actually happened that night. Scott says that Styles never gives anyone the benefit of the doubt, but here he is doing that exact same thing and once again trusting the bad guy over someone he trusts. And Styles gets blamed for it. WTF. Someone said it'd be really funny if, um, if Scott was like, no, I'm not going to turn Hayden. Mm -hmm. And so then Liam and Theo came up with a plan to make Style, or Scott give Hayden the bite just like they made Derek give Gerard mm -hmm. the bite. I said, ooh, child. Ooh, that put some storyline in my head. That would have been real good. I think Heckman would come back for that. Just to sit, just to come out the shadows and be like, mm-hmm. And now you know. And then lurk back in the shadows. And that's all we see. I'm like, Emmy nomination. You are <laughs> yes, getting the E in your E got tonight. <laughs> that would be his, uh, that would be the video that they submit. Yes, for everything. He could be uh, auditioning for a deodorant commercial. He'd be like, mm. it's like Hecklin steps forward. Hecklin steps back. He's like, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, he By some, Menon. Some, and he just needs to get some lessons from Ian. Ian knows how to do it perfectly, so. Okay. Right. Um, Ryan with Cupcake says, I'm very confused about how this will connect do, with Ian? the initial do, flash this forward. This. I'm really, I, I don't know. And the sad thing is, I don't care. Yeah. They have one episode <laughs> to do it. I don't, I don't care. I actually think everyone's, I don't care, but I, I can honestly think I'm everyone's forgotten that this actually had anything to do, that this is a flashback. Mm-hmm. I mean, outside of us. Well, that, that's the thing. I'm like, if you're going to steal, steal right. You know you what they should have been doing? Is giving us little pieces. Yep, go ahead. Going back and forth. Yeah, giving us back and forth between the past and the future. And mm -hmm. the thing is, it might have been annoying, but at least we would remember. Because that's the thing. We, a lot of people have forgotten that this is a flashback. Right. It's a mess. Saw Post saying this isn't about ride or die. But it is because Styles has been ride or die for Scott since day one. Mm -hmm. Styles was owed the benefit of doubt and an actual conversation because <laughs> what happened wasn't conversation, it was an ambush. And never did, please tell me what happened with Donovan and we can fix this, come out of Scott's mouth. It's all coming as hypocritical and disloyal on Scott's part because Scar Scott had planned to kill for his mom, but he can't take Styles doing the same. Well. Scott's misplaced morale, which makes, okay, so, um... I, I think I've told the story before, but I remember me and my mom were in the car and we were listening to Truth Hurts by Usher. Mm. And he was like, uh, Truth Hurts, um, some about... In Usher's voice. Are you cheating? Yeah. Are you cheating on me, woman? And, you know, I think you're cheating on me and you've got a secret and blah, 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 blah. 
And so then at the end, he was like, the truth is, I'm the one that's got the secret, baby. I've been cheating on you. <laughs> Just all this stuff. And my mom, like, looked at the radio and looked at me and started cracking up. And we were just like, what was the song? <laughs> like, we literally went through the song like, oh, he's feeling some way about his girl. And, you know, just not paying Which attention. Totally he was like. Which is totally old R&B when you're like, my woman said something wrong. And exactly. But I said, I was just like, let me flip this strip and yeah. say. Well, and he was like, really? It's me. Because <laughs> she just been like, like me. And I'm just like, mm, honey, this is rates more of a reward for me to have to date you. But this is what makes me think that something's going on with Scott. Mm -hmm. Because I think that Scott, when he's talking to Styles, he has no reason to have those expectations on Styles, especially with what Styles has been through. Yeah. And so for him not to understand makes me think that he thinks some things about himself and he hates it. But who knows if they're ever going to uh, explore it. Love this cute naughty. Thank you. Um, I swear, how are they friends? Dylan O'Brien told this ridiculous joke. How are they friends? I swear. Well, and we've talked about this. They have no real basis for their friendship. They don't. So when it breaks up, like, really, in real life, they would stop being friends and just not be friends. They have nothing connecting them. I agree. Even Twilight is a better love story than Stalia. Well... <laughs> all we got to say. Oh, and you know, I actually problems. don't mind, except for her age, I don't necessarily mind the Twilight love story, but it's a fantasy. Oh well, it's a fantasy. That is the most abusive relationship. You know that fit every single abusive relationship warning. Like It does. Us, no, they did, a, they did a study and it hit every single one. And I remember reading and I was like, I'm so uncomfortable because, you know, I worked, when I was in college, I worked with a women's abuse center. Oh and, yeah, there's a checklist, and, and they go like, ping, 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 ping. And as ping, I ping. read the book, I was just like, "Can someone help this child get away?" The <laughs> problem is that it feeds so much into what we grew up with in yeah. terms of like damsel in distress, and you know, a, a man of the world teaching a woman, a, a blushing innocent woman, and blah 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 blah. But um, it's surprising to me how many people ship Stalia because it's a heterosexual ship with. Styles mm -hmm. and no shade, just 100%. I want to see Styles with a girl. I think Shelly's pretty. I think that they're it's, cute yeah, together. I didn't do that. Yeah, and well, and yeah. I like my trade trips, and I still didn't ship them. Exactly, and so it's so funny to I me that they're Sarah so. Before I ship them. Girl, it's still alive. The girl, they're just I so willing to. <laughs> They're just so willing to jump on that ship, but they will defend it. I was going through the Stalia tag, and this one girl was making her case for why Style uh, Stalia or Malia was Styles' anchor. And of course, yeah, I know, girl, it was a mess. Uh, it was oh. so messy. But you could tell she was mm, so mm. passionate that I didn't even want to be like, "Here's why you're wrong." You know I'm like, "I'm gonna let you live I in this fantasy." Points, she's so passionate about it, and she she believes so hard I can't hate on that what are you gonna do that's that's just disillusion <laughs> basically and you you know you can't fix that Ooh, girl but yeah the anchor I said my god <laughs> so who lord the anchor though no one cares about Corey's death Ryan no one cares I was gonna say I I was hoping that they were like I'm like are they gonna give Mason another boo I'm like, because they keep killing his booze off outside of Brett. They really do. And he got killed off. I'm like, oh, Mason. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Mason is the new Derek. No! Because <laughs> um, he's like, he just can't get any love. All he wants to do is get it in. And he can't even get that. Ekria, uh, A-K-R-I-A-23. She's a fairly new follower, but she is amazing. Akira. Akira as in... No, it's just A-K-R-I-A. Maybe it was supposed to be Akira and that wasn't available, so she just made it Akria. Akria? Whatever you want, girl. Hi, whatever. Beautiful we black girl, like that pretty hair. You're gorgeous in your picture. Mm-hmm. You are really cute in your picture. She's adorable, and her posts be on point. I love it. Uh, this would be the perfect time to have Derek come back and be Alpha and have him take some of Scott's pack like Scott did, did his. Real talk, though. I wish this would have happened uh, seasons ago when Derek was there, so Derek could have teamed up as Pack. I honestly think their Pack would have been awesome. Can you imagine yeah. if Derek came back and he had some of Satomi's Pack? Derek came back and he's just an alpha for some reason. 
Uh, and he probably, Derek is probably uh, eligible to be a true alpha because he gave up his power in like five a minutes. Philip. Uh huh? Yeah, five minutes. Oh, where are they? Oh, he's on his way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Derek gave up his power to be, you know, this philanthropist. Mm -hmm. Philanth I don't know what yeah, the word is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thing. And so I think that if he incorporated his true strength and will, he would do it. Are you downstairs already? Oh, I just got your text message. Okay, that's fine. I'll be there. Okay, bye. All right, you guys, we're going to shut this one down. Um, we'll Mama's got lines to run. We can do it some tomorrow yeah. before the podcast. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we're going to go through some more of your Q&As because they were awesome. And signing off, say goodnight, Momo. Afuita saying au revoir. Go read our Steo trash. It's amazing. You're going to love it. Yay. I'm only going to support her because he's eaten. Yes. Oh, my God. I love that. Okay.